My name is Megan Garrison, the sexual violence preventionist as part of the Rape Crisis Center program at YWCA Dayton. Um, here we're going to be talking about a new initiative we made called Aftercare Kits. So oftentimes when someone has been affected by the trauma of sexual violence, they will then need to go to the hospital to get a sexual assault forensic examination. And in the course of this uh, examination, which can be very grueling and can be very intensive and very trauma inducing on its own, they will likely not be able to have access to the clothes that they came into, hygiene products um, to feel secure and safe and clean afterwards, and just items of comfort. So in these aftercare kits, we've made it to where when an advocate is called to the hospital for a survivor, they will give them this kit and it will have all these items in it for them to be able to take home afterwards or be able to get home safely with the use of these aftercare kits. So inside, for example, we just have a little comfort bear um, for just if they wanted something to maybe squeeze or hold on to, tissues. We also have a, a brand new fresh journal, so if they wanted to be able to take notes or have anything at home afterwards. Um, we also have a full hygiene kit um, which includes shampoo and conditioner, lotion, body wash, hand sanitizer, toothbrush, toothpaste, a little portable hairbrush, um, and deodorant, everything you might need to just feel clean again. And then we also have a stress relief ball. And then one of the really important things, because oftentimes clothes are taken for evidence as part of the examination, we have a pair of sweatpants, a new t-shirt, and a pair of underwear. Within these kits, we have sizes available from small to 5X, and we also have gender neutral clothing. So depending on who the survivor is and who they identify as, it's something in the kit will be for all of them. Um, one thing we also include in here is information about our services. So if they needed a contact for counseling or anything else, those will also be included in here. But one way that we would love the community to get involved is we also include these cards within them. And inside the card is just a supportive message that goes to the survivor. Um, something that says, you are not alone, we believe you, you are safe now. Um, so that survivors can feel just a little more connected after the trauma that they've been through. Um, and so if you would like to send in a message for us, we would really love just having messages for survivors to include in these cards. Um, and also if you are willing to help us put together kits, we have quite a few already, but we are always looking to be able to create more kits as the demand rises.